Chapter 5 Season 4 is finally upon us, and with a new season, of course, comes a brand new full set of new skins in a battle pass. And today, we are going to rank every single skin in this new battle pass from worst to best. Keep in mind, this is a difficult ranking, as I feel like all these skins could honestly be in the number one spot. They are all incredible skins. We have a great battle pass ahead of us. Speaking of battle pass, since I know you're all gonna buy it, you might as well just chuck in code TYFRIES. Takes like three seconds, and it helps me out a ton. Thanks for that. I really appreciate it. Let's get Get right into it chapter 5 season 4 is finally here all right and my worst skin in this battle pass i think at the number eight spot is dr doom who's actually the secret skin i believe his technical name is like absolute doom actually and it kind of hurts right to put like the main character of the season as the worst skin in the battle pass but to me he just doesn't get me excited to wait like all those weeks until he comes out as the quote-unquote secret skin right like i already have a dr doom skin right from chapter two season four so if you don't have that skin then i can see why you'd be really excited to get this one but if you already have the chapter two season 4 version in my opinion this is just a slightly better version although i did just see on twitter that apparently he is having another edit style come down the road so who knows maybe that'll push him up a little higher later on in the season at the number seven spot i have mysterio and yeah i actually do think that mysterio is a decent looking skin i don't think he's terrible again i feel like they're all good looking they all could be higher up i guess my main complaint with mysterio is you just know that that big colorful head he even has a red i think he has the purple variant and the green variant that is just going to stick out like a sore thumb to me when you run this skin it just looks all over it like just hit me in the head headshot me please i do think the skin and his set are really nice especially the fact that like he comes with that cape it looks awesome but i don't know i just can't get over the fact that his head is such a bright color that it's literally just telling you to headshot him right you can see it from a mile away at the number six spot on this list is a tough one that's captain jonesy captain jonesy is your like tier 68 skin in that middle of the battle pass and i'll be honest with you i actually really like this captain jonesy skin to my knowledge we already have a captain america skin in the game so they kind of had to get creative here right and i think they absolutely did right you get captain america and jonesy in one it's exactly what it sounds like you get the like blue red outfit version but then there's also i believe like a darker black and red version which also looks really cool i really do like the idea of mixing original fortnite skins with like marvel or collaboration characters so i really like the idea here and i hope they can put push it further in further seasons and we'll actually see that happen again in this battle pass at the number five spot is emma frost i feel like a lot of people are going to kind of dog on this skin because to my knowledge she's not a crazy notable person in the whole mcu i could be totally off on that i'm just saying like i've never heard of her before and i'll say that she is a really clean skin the all white version is super sleek same with the all black version but there is one variant of her that sticks out above the rest and this variant may just be the best skin in the entire entire battle pass it's like the crystal silver version i don't know how to explain it but you'll probably see it on the screen if this skin was just that version i would probably put it at the number one spot i don't really have a ton of intent on running this skin other than that silver version just the crystal look is so, so clean, and I think that that honestly pushes it up to the number five spot. If it wasn't for that version, I would have to keep it down a little bit. Still, though, a really, really sleek skin. At the number four spot is probably the skin that you're going to see running around all day today. That is Gwenpool, the tier one skin. And I feel like some of you guys are going to be upset about this one because I know Gwenpool is a very popular character. And all things considered, I would say in terms of this battle pass, she's right in the middle. I don't think she's great, but she's definitely not terrible. She's very suitable. She has a couple of variants, and a key thing is that you can disable the cell shaded graphics. So when you hop into the game and you're going to buy the battle pass and use Gwenpool, she comes cell shaded, but you can actually turn that off, which I think a lot of people are going to like. If you don't know, the cell shaded is just what makes it look like kind of like a comic book cartoony, right? Instead of it looking like your normal, typical Fortnite skin. You do get a bunch of variants with this skin. Skin. you get like a black mask on version of course you get the default white mask on version then you get a mask off version i would say the all black mask off version is probably my favorite if you run the white one you're probably going to stick out like a sore thumb i love the black one all things considered i don't really complain about gwenpool it is a really cool idea for a tier one skin and i love it at the number three spot what i think is going to be so many people's favorite skin in this entire battle pass that is peel Verine at tier 40 of course we don't really have the tier system anymore but that's like the equivalent of what it would be right and what a cool skin. I mean, it is always a risk trying to take a crazy fan favorite skin like Peely and chucking it into another battle pass. 
because if you mess it up, a lot of people aren't going to like it. The good thing is, though, it's really hard to mess up Peely, right? We've seen it been done so many times before that you can basically put any outfit on Peely and people will love it. And I think that's exactly what's going on here. I mean, look, Wolverine is yellow and blue, right, for the most part. And that's exactly what they did here. They just took his yellow body and added some blue decor to him. He also has the brown version, right, that we see in Wolverine. I'm not familiar with the MCU, but to my knowledge, that is a version of Wolverine where he's got like the whole brown outfit on. And it actually looks cool being on a banana, right? Because it almost looks like the banana is like rotting a little bit. There's, the colors fit perfectly. It also has this like black and red version where he looks kind of like evil. I love how like the mask around his eyes goes all the way to the top of his head and then the bananas are actually like the claws coming out of his hands. Honestly, this skin is really impressive looking. I totally love what they did with his set. It's super creative, super funny. This is like the troll skin of the season and I think a lot of people are going to love it. All right, we are into the top two skins. What do I think are the best two skins in this battle pass? Well, at the number two spot is Shuri, the tier 100 skin. Do I think it is a solid tier 100 skin? Absolutely, I really do. But do I think it's the best that we've seen in chapter five? No, not really. It is a really good looking skin. I'm not going to debate that. But when you put it up against something like Hades, I think Hades is a better looking skin than this. Like, I feel like there are some better characters or cooler looking characters that they could have put at the tier 100. And again, I'm not like destroying this skin, right? I do think it's really cool. I love Black Panther. I love that whole IP. And this skin does have some incredibly clean variants. The all white version is absolutely gorgeous looking as well as when she has the full suit on. It's got all the purple running through it. She's got the claws. It does look really cool. I just feel like it's a tad bit. And I want to say a tad bit underwhelming for the tier 100. But let's be honest with you. She's a better looking skin than Megalodon. That's for sure. I also loved how they picked a sleek tier 100 skin instead of a big bulky tier 100 skin which they normally like to do. I don't know. I think people are going to end up liking this skin, but I don't think it's the best skin in this battle pass. That spot would go to War Machine at the number one spot. And this is kind of surprising to me because you get him really early on in the battle pass. Within the first couple pages, he would typically be your tier 20 skin. And I'll be honest with you guys. I think the regular version is really good looking. I love Iron Man. So many people love Iron Man. And if you weren't able to get Iron Man in chapter two, season four, this is basically next up for you, right? But there is one version of this skin similar to Emma Frost but just 10 times better in my opinion that is the iron patriot variant like, like are you kidding me like if they put this at tier 100 everybody would go crazy for it it looks unreal the red white and blue on the iron man so many people are gonna run this skin i am recording this video like an hour after the season has come out so i'm not sure if he has an unmasked version for the iron patriot version but i do know that he has an unmasked version for the regular skin but yeah that iron patriot version is absolutely gorgeous and honestly, I would go as far as to say that might be the best battle pass skin we have seen in the entirety of chapter five. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that very quick ranking of every single skin in the battle pass. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Are there any that were way too low, way too high? Let me know what your favorite skin is in the chapter five season four battle pass. I do want to remind everybody that these skins are not exclusive to the battle pass. Remember, and I think it's 18 months. These skins will be eligible to come back to Fortnite for purchase. So, so just make sure to keep that in mind when you are buying the battle pass. But again, if you are buying it, be sure to use code TIEFRIES. I love that. It helps me out a ton. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So make sure you're subscribed for more Chapter 5 Season 4 content. I'll be dropping all the content in the next couple days. So make sure you subscribe with notifications on. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.